Hello, it's Sarah. My battery is probably going to die, which is going to be great because I've already filmed this twice. But I wanted to do, this is the tutorial that I wanted to do for this little mini album that I just feel is so sweet. Um, and it's pretty simple. So uh, I wanted to do a tutorial. I'm doing it based on the ATCs that I did and the little pizza boxes that I did. But I am using just uh, some random different decorative papers. Um, actually, this one was the last one I did. And I'm using the Butterfly Garden Stack by uh, Die Cuts with a View. I'm just trying to pull sweet, um, simple papers. You know, like flowers and butterflies and things like that. Um, I went and got some craft cardstock, and I really like this Recollections craft cardstock. It's the eight and a half by eleven size, and my battery is beeping. Um, and you know what? For this particular mini mini album, it's perfect because you cut it four and a quarter, so you have two four and a quarter by eleven sheets. You can make all your pages with this. So I'll be right back and show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so what you're going to need, I am using the corrugated cards, the Recollections cards, um, for my covers. And that's just my preference at this time. I'm working with that. You could use chipboard, which I would recommend, or something with a little bit of stability. This is, it's paper, but I am backing it also with a piece of, you know, my favorite Manila file folders to give it some more strength. I'm using craft cardstock for the uh, the bones, the, the guts of the of the mini. And then I'm going to use about two, two 12 by 12 pieces of pattern paper for the inside. It takes about two pieces of 12 by 12. That's it. I'm going to use the bind it all for my binding, which this is the three quarter inch um, binding wire. Um, and I've kind of narrowed it down through trial and error um, by making a few of these. I'm going to do two pocket pages. This one's the one. And six regular pages. And then it turns out really nice width-wise or depth-wise. I don't know what you want to say. So when people fill it with their stuff, they have plenty of room um, with the size binding wire. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and then we'll embellish the cover too at the end. Um, so the first thing you want to do is cut your paper, your um, 8 and a half by 11 uh, cardstock, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to set this, uh, hold on, let me set my camera to the side a little bit. Make sure. And really, what's great about the size that I chose, and I chose the size because it fit um, like a school size picture, or an ATC card will fit in a page nicely, matted. So, four and a quarter, if you line this up and cut four and a quarter, you're going to have two four and a quarter inch sheets. So your pages are going to be, and let me, I wrote all this down and I'm not, um, we'll go, let's go over the sizes first. The first thing you want to do is cut down your um, covers. I think I wrote it on this. You need two covers. Uh, that would be the corrugated card that I'm using, or if you're using chipboard, three and a half by four and a half. So you need two of those. And if you're doing it this way with the corrugated card, you need two pieces at three and a quarter by four and a quarter to kind of back it and just give it that extra stability. So you're going to need two of those for your covers. Um, I have everything. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so six pages at three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and that's why if you cut this in half, you're at four and a quarter, and then you just go three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter, you get six pages out of this one piece of um, uh, craft card stock. So you need six pages. You're going to need two pocket pages, so you take your other piece of um, craft card stock, cut that at four and a quarter, so you'll have two pieces of four and a quarter again to make your two pocket pages. So four and a quarter by six and a half. This will be the pocket page, and then you're going to take the other piece that you cut off the bottom and cut that into three and one eighth by four and one eighth. That's going to go on the back of your pocket page back here to, to seal it up. And then this little piece, uh, one by three, uh, you'll need one of one each of those for your two pocket pages. So you need three pieces for your pocket page. I'm going to put all these measurements in the description box. So 
that's basically it. Then you're going to need tags. Um, those are, we'll get, I'll get to them in a minute, but, um, so basically like another one little other half a piece of paper for your tags. So, um, let me show you how to construct the pocket page and then I'll kind of put everything together. All you need to do is get your scoreboard and take it and score it at half an inch down both of the long sides. And then four and a quarter down, whoops, this way. And that's it. Yep. You're going to take that and you're going to cut. You know what? We might as well score this little piece too. This is going to be for the bottom to seal the bottom. This Basically, I took this design from the Kathy Orta um, envelope mini. She makes a pocket page just like this really but she uses this little piece as an extra place to stick a tag but for this I'm just going to seal the whole thing up and cover it with paper because I'm really trying to keep it simple I don't want to do a lot of extra tricks and stuff because it's to sell at my craft show so you want to trim that off to get it to be like that so it just makes it neater we're going to do make little tabs on the pocket page as well cut little half triangles a triangle at the score line that wasn't good not very straight just a smidge off the ends to make your little tabs this is what we're gonna glue and create our pocket page so we got that we got that we got that and that's gonna make your pocket page so I'm using wet glue for this and you can use whatever your favorite adhesive is I did make one with my ATG and I just found that it's too sticky. I, I go over the edge too much and I get all my pages were sticking together and it just was a mess. I do better with the wet glue. I actually like wet glue. Um, I prefer wet glue when I'm doing this type of a project. So um, I just want to fold this again because it seems like it's a little bit off. There we go. All right, so I'm using my, um, I'm almost out of it actually. I've been making these like crazy. My squat, my scotch quick dry adhesive and I'm grabbing a paper towel because sometimes it squirts out a little. I'm a bit of a heavy hand and I go towards the outside of this little tab and just put some glue and fold it up. Come on, little tab. Try to line up those edges. Take my paper towel and give it a push in case any squeezes out. Flip it over and add glue to this side the same way I like to go down the outside edge just so glue doesn't get on the inside and, and risk sealing up your pocket. And take this other piece 3 8 by 4 8 and just cover kind of center it that's why I, I like wet glue too because you can um, it has there's a little fudge time where you can smush it around a little and get it straight before you actually seal it down oh my gosh this is the third time I'm filming this tutorial I have I have been struggling all right so I just wipe the excess off so that's my pocket page the last thing you want to do is seal the bottom because if you if I have my this is open on the bottom we haven't sealed it this is sealed because we folded it there but I'm just going to take my glue again go around the edges really could go down the middle of both sides it doesn't matter just get some glue I don't like to put it on the bottom because I don't want my tag to stick and make sure it's on the bottom center it and squeeze and that's it so your pocket page is all sealed up you're gonna I'm making two of these you can make as many as you want you can make your whole book five of them you can make five pocket pages and make a book of that but I'm gonna do it um, two pages pocket page two pages pocket page oops and then two pages on the back 
So it's two pocket, two pocket, two. And then my front and back covers. And that's basically the guts of the book. Um, we're going to use decorative paper now. And the way I've been doing it, and I like how this turned out, is I just do my pages one color, and then I do the pocket page section another color. Just to change it up a little so it's not all the same. Pages, pocket page, and then pages. And I think on this one I'm even going to use one other pattern, but very similar. It's all from that um, the Butterfly Garden stack. So for, to cover, the, the measurement you're going to need to cover, I always leave a little smidge of room. So basically to do that, if you know your page is three and a quarter inch, you just take a quarter off. And then, so it's going to be three inches. It's three and a quarter, so I'm going to cut my mat at three. This is four and a quarter, so I'm going to cut my mat at four. So three by four. And I've already gone ahead and done a few. This is actually, the brown's going to be my pocket page. The butterfly page was going to be my pages. Where did I put it? So basically for your page mats, I'm going to need, I think it's 10 pieces at uh, 3 by 4 because the pages are 3 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. So the mats are going to be 3 by 4. Um, just going to double check because I don't want to mess up. Yes, 3 by 4. I just said it. Um, so what you want to do when, you're, when you have a design that you want to go facing you in the right direction, the 4 inch side is the longest side. So you're going to get, I'll show you what I mean. This, I want the paper oh, this way. It doesn't go this way. So anyway, so I'm going to go 4, 4, Four. So I have three pieces of four by twelve. Then I'm going to turn it and go three. And I need ten of these. One, two, three, four. You get four mats per thing. So four. Um, I'll go away and come back, but that's how you, you make four mats out of each strip of this. Okay, so I've cut all my mats for my pages. I already pre-cut the mats for the back cover, the front and back cover, which I just switched the paper a tiny bit. And that's going to be the same size as the file folder, three and a quarter by four and a quarter just to cover it, but I still am leaving that smidge of room so you can see the edge of the, um, the border of the, the craft color. And then I just used a piece of that same paper for the next page so that they match. But all the rest of my pages are going to be this butterfly paper. So I'm going to put a piece. I'm just going to put a piece on each page so I can get loaded up here and know where I'm going with this. Um, huh. All right. Then what I did was um, for the pocket pages, I'm going to do it brown. And for the pocket page, you're going to cut them three inches by two for the bottom and two and a half for the top. And I'm going to put all this in the description box. But it's still three by four for this one. But this one's going to be three going across, but then two and two and a half, and then you stick it in the pocket. So turn that, and then the rest of my pages are going to be the butterflies. And until I get to that pocket page again. And then I did the brown. And again, it's the two by two and a half. And I'll show you how I do that. I just stick it in the pocket. Then some more butterflies. And there should be two more. And then the back cover. Yep, perfect. So there's 10 pieces that I covered with the butterfly paper. Then I did a back, the back cover and front cover, and then the pocket pages. So I used three different pattern papers. You can do it all one pattern paper, whatever you want. I'll have the measurements. All the pages basically are three by four, except for the pocket page. You want to cut that down to two by, to a two and a two and a half, like I showed you. So, and then the back cover obviously is bigger. You want to cover this whole piece. So I'm going to start gluing. I'm going to glue most of my book together. 
and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I glue the pocket pages and then how we bind it with the bind it all. Okay, so I've got all my papers adhered and I just wanted to show you how I do this pocket page. Uh, I'm going to just take my um, bone folder and make sure everything's open here before I glue this down. Take my paper, make sure it's going in the right direction and I just go to the et. Come on glue, I'm running out. I've made a lot of these little books lately. And I just rub the glue all over. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Just leaving that like, I guess it's a, an eighth of an inch all the way around. Use my paper towel to wipe off the excess. And then for the top part, I only do like the top and the sides and then a little bit, oops, kind of up here. I don't know. That's all you really need because you're going to tuck it under this inside the pocket. So you go inside and kind of line it up with the edge of the bottom piece and along the top to leave that eighth of an inch and wipe it and there you go so that's how I mat the pocket pages so I'll show you what I have here um, I'll have all the measurements in the description box don't forget because remember this one has to be a little bit bigger because you're covering the you want to cover up that file folder that we adhered so you have one two pages pocket page and I also did my pockets that's the other thing I mean my ugh, my tags so I already cut my mats for that the other thing I did was to make these tags I used this little scallop chomper actually it's called cloud I use the cloud side I don't know if you can see that and you just chomp two corners the two top corners and it makes it look like a tag to me so that's what I do and then I cut of course the mats a smidge smaller just like you do the pages so that you can see that paper on the outside so I'll adhere that um, in a second and have my mats I mean my mats on my tags all right so you have that so pocket page page page, pocket page, 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 page. All right, so two pages, pocket page, two pages, pocket page, two pages, and that's it. So you can see it's already bulked up a little bit. Um, I'm going to do, oh, I want to do one other thing I want to show you. I do put a little uh, circle in this uh, top pocket. I just do a half circle on the front part of it. And I use a, a one-inch punch, circle punch and just kind of flip it over stick this in that slot so I can see the circle go about halfway down and just eyeball it to the center give it a squeeze I think it's getting dull but there that way it has a little um, place to pull the punch out and I just glued this other one so I'm sure it'll be tougher um, oh I also wanted to mention I didn't uh, edge anything I didn't ink any of the edges that's personal preference you go right ahead I think it looks lovely I, I do it myself but um, for this particular one I'm not going to do it because it's for um, my show and I just want to crank them out and it's very time consuming and um, these little books look just fine without it so I'm just going to go without it for now all right so the next thing I want to show you is actually uh, the bind it all and for this, I'm just going to use the six six uh, rings is fine for this. My my poor battery is beeping again, so I'm going to count. Let's see, I do it this way: one, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to cut this right in the center of this, and I'm going to use this to thread my pages once I, I'm going to go uh, change my battery and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and we're going to just do the binding now. 
Um, I have the Zutter bind it all. Some of you may have a cinch or any other binding machine. Um, I have this, so this is what I'm using. And you just want to make sure your book is all lined up and everything's going the right way before you start this. Just, okay, to be on the safe side. When I, through trial and error, when I've um, cut the holes in the cover, it's, it works better when you go from the flat side, so the paper, like not the corrugated side. And then I just eyeball it. I go by this little um, arrow in the center and make sure that there's the same amount of um, hangover on the ends and then just punch my holes. So, I mean, I'm pretty good with eyeballing, so I don't get um, to, you can do two pages at a time. And like I said, just get it centered and then make sure you have the oops, same amount of um, space on both sides. I'm just going to do the pocket page. Let's see. Centered and then, I don't know, my bind at all is feeling weird. Um, I've been making these a lot. I've made several, so I mean, I'm definitely putting it through a workout here. I just emptied the all the little um, notches that come out of it, it was filled, so I thought it would help a lot to do that or get it to go smoother, but it's <laughs> actually not. Maybe I'm just dulling it so much. I don't know how long these machines last, how many punches worth you're supposed to get out of it, but, um, you know. almost done and here's my back cover make sure I have that centered and what all right move that aside for a sec and I've already cut my wire we did that before before my battery died and uh, what you want to do now is take the back cover and flip it around to the front and then I flip my whole book over then you thread these coils through the holes like so bring back my bind it all let me just it comes with this little tool that you can make sure it's um, I, I just bound one at three quarters so I'm pretty sure but it might have moved so that's good and then you just kind of put your pages in that middle dip of the wire kind of hold it to the middle that's what they suggest I am NOT a pro at this by any means but I definitely get it good enough and then it says to do a smooth push which mine is not smooth but it bound it's a good alright let's see this see if it looks round so I'm gonna flip it back over and it looks good actually it looks pretty round a little wonky but that's my book so we have two pages can put my um, tags in pocket page two pages put my tags in and two pages all right so that's a construction all done now the next thing I'm going to do is my cover and I'm basically just kind of going off of this one. I've already pulled some stuff but I want to talk about how I glue this a little bit because I'm a big fan of Fabri-Tac glue. A lot of people use their glue guns and I'm a glue gun girl too but for certain things. I don't use it for, um, I don't use it for fabric anymore. Like when I've done, um, altered boxes and things in the past and I've tried to adhere trims and stuff, it it pulls right off like after the glue dries it'll pull off so I just don't trust it I love Fabri-Tac because I've never had an issue with anything coming off it adheres wonderfully and most of this cover is fabric and so that's why I'm kinda I'm just gonna go with this I'm just gonna put it all along the edges up the side because this is just a sheer piece of fabric that I'm putting on the back the background I've already cut it to fit kind of just cover the front cover with it 
and it gives you a minute to kind of pull it where you want it so it's not as unforgiving as uh, wet glue I mean um, hot glue because hot glue it dries kind of quick to me I think this I don't like that it's a little got a weird there you go it had a weird edge to it so then I'm gonna put I, I did I cut a heart out of cork paper the cork paper I did my other ones out of the um this one was with you know <laughs> I have no no brain anymore this is the third video I've shot of this by the way um so I'm just gonna do a few of the pieces and then I'll go away and come back with it finished and let you see and I hope this went well if you guys have any questions uh, I'd be glad to answer them um you know I I I just think it was cute and it, and for some of my subbies that m may not have seen a, a mini book from me for a while because I I haven't been doing them for a while uh, I just really love this one I just thought it was so so cute and fun when I first started paper crafting I was addicted to mini albums um, Laura Dennison and Kathy Ord of, of course uh, beautiful beautiful books they make and I just was in love with them and had to make them all uh, and now I've kind of just been able to take what I've learned from those and kind of make it into what I want to make it and that's kind of what I did here and especially for a craft show this is a really cute sweet gift to give someone and I think it's, uh, you know, it, it didn't take long to make it, but it's a lot of bang for the, for the buck type thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I want to put this one here. You know what? I'm going to go away and come back and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, I'm back. I'm all done. And I just hope you guys liked this tutorial. I think it was, it's such a sweet little a mini album. I made this tutorial three times. So I'm hoping this one is the keeper. And I'll get it up there as soon as I can. Um, this is what I came up with. I went a bit crazy with the flower cluster. And I'm tired. I mean, I like this one for the simplicity. It's just simple. There's a couple little flowers. <clears throat> I think I like making my heart bigger, too. <coughs> this was like a littler heart, so I think I had so much more room. Um, but someone will like it. You know, some will like it. I, I hadn't used a, a gold shoe, and I went with a gold button this time. So I changed it, and um, I have six of them so far. So I think I'll make a couple more. I mean, they're really quick, as you could tell. So I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.